All right. Hello and welcome to this week's episode. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Matt Cotty and I'm a licensed clinical social worker and the founder of Restored Minds and the creator of AAA Response. And so on this episode, I want to talk about the importance of staying the course during times of uncertainty when it comes to your recovery from OCD and anxiety. So, you know, it... On this journey, you know, when we're dealing with OCD and anxiety, there are just bound to be times where we experience higher levels of uncertainty, higher levels of stress, higher levels of discomfort, and it's just going to be kind of an ebb and flow. And what I've found, obviously for myself on this journey, as well as for clients, right, is that when things are calm, it's easier to put in the tools, right? It's easier to stay the course, right? We have more trust in the process. We have more trust in the tools. We have more trust what to do. And it's when the disturbances happen that things tend to go awry, you know, for people. And, you know, let's go ahead and define disturbances. So what are we talking about? Well, this is when, you know, really like external things happen in life that really kind of shake up our stuff, So it could be big transitions in life, right? Like, you know, when we're changing jobs or, you know, and it doesn't have to be bad, right? It could be just, just the, just the transitional period uh, that, that inevitably happens in life of changing jobs, uh, relationships, right? Um, Having kids, getting married, right? You know, moving, right? All these things that, that happen in life when, when we, get caught up in that moment, you got to understand that there's this inevitable uncertainty of that event, right? And, you know, if you're changing jobs, it's, did I make the right choice? Is this a good job, right? Am I going to like my new boss, right? All these, all these kind of underlying uncertainties happens with big transitions. And then, and then what happens is that kind of bleeds into our, our old patterns of thinking, right? With anxiety and OCD. And then it, it starts to surface up maybe, you know, old thoughts that we used to experience or just higher levels of anxiety in our body. And this is when people tend to veer off course. And this is why it's so important that we stay the course during the times, because these times are where the road, where the real work needs to happen. And yeah, they're not fun. You know, I'm not going to like lie and say, Oh, you just enjoy these times, right? They're part of it. I mean, in, in, in many ways, they are part of the healing process. They're, they're, they are to be embraced as, as part of the experience. You know, I, I think, I think there's this deep wish for so many people that we want the recovery process to be like this smooth sailing thing of like, Hey, I'm having this experience that I don't like, you know, I'm having this anxiety or, you know, intrusive thoughts or panic, or I'm afraid of doing this. And I want to learn these skills and then get to here. And then, I just want to have go back to this compartmentalized way of living and true growth is really about this constant evolution, right? Like if you think of a plant, right? Think of like a tree, right? And, and it's like growth is about continual growing, right? Continual growing. And, and we don't, we don't grow for a little bit and say, Hey, I want to cap my growing off here. That's, you know, you, at the end of the day, you're doing a disservice to yourself. And through these turbulent times of life or times of uncertainty, right? And, and, and they can be interchangeable, right? Because it's, they often tend to go hand in hand that uncertainty in, in our external world creates a lot of, you know, uh, anxiety and stress in our internal world, which then stimulates a lot of the things that we don't like to experience. And it's during those times that we have the opportunity to put the tools into practice. It's easy to, to put the tools into practice when everything's, you know, happy go lucky in life, right? When we're just in our, you know, when we're feeling peaceful, when we're feeling confident, when we're feeling up, right? When we have a, a higher state that we're living in um, internally, right? And you'll call it a vibration if you will. But I mean, when we're really living on that uh, higher planes, it's easy to be confident in the tools and, and to, you know, walk the path at that time. Where, where it really matters though, is when times get turbulent, when times get stressful, when times get uncertain. And, you know, for many of us, we live, this is, a, a, I think one of the big things that 
this uh, the pandemic did was created a lot of external uncertainty that many of us needed to navigate and that we had never navigated before. And, and it was on a, on an ongoing basis too, you know, from shutdowns to vaccines, to jobs, employment and businesses and, and all the things that were encompass, encompassed in the uh, pandemic of uncertainty with travel and, you know, I mean, j- just everything, right. That, that created a lot of uncertainty about a lot of things in the life. And, and what at least I've been seeing and as a pattern is as the pandemic is kind of, you know, people are starting to kind of get back to normal, at least, you know, in certain parts of the world, there's this residual stress of that. And, and then therefore symptoms are exacerbating, right. You know, panic, right. Random like panic attacks, anxiety, right. Uh, OCD, right. I mean, and, 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 and again, let's stay away from the labels, right. But just the residual effects of the stress, and when we're in those moments, that is when we need to put the, the tools into practice, not just when things are smooth sailing. It's like when we hit a storm, we have to stay the course, right? If, if you're in the boat, I mean, yeah, it is. It's going to be turbulent, right? It's going to be it's going to be rough. Okay. And it's going to be scary. And you're not going to be certain if, if like, these are the right tools and, oh my gosh, is this something new now? Or, or, you know, and and all the doubt that comes with all that, right? That's when we stay the course. That's when we stay the course right there. And look, I am not saying that it's easy. Sure. It sounds simple, but it's not easy. And staying the course during these turbulent times whether you're in them or not, if you, if you encounter turbulent times in the future, that commitment to stay in the course is what is going to get you through that to the other side of it without getting caught in those loops and spirals that, that we're able to get in. Right. And, and when we stay the course during those times, we're able to ride through those times, the storm subsides and we're able to come out on the other side, more confident in the tools right? More confident in ourselves and healthier, right? And and a better version of ourselves for navigating those storms. And, and obviously I just want to be clear. I'm using the storms in a very like metaphorical term right now of these internal storms, the internal disturbances that we experience. And, and every part of you is going to want to try to justify that this is somehow different than last time. Or that, hey, this is a real thing, you know, or like your mind is going to be saying those kind of things. Still stay the course. Still stay the course. Put the tools into practice that you know how to put in. That, and and by doing that, like I was saying, what's going to happen is as as you actually navigate that storm and emerge on the other side, you're going to have a deeper trust that the next storm you hit, you're going to be able to do it. And you won't fear storms as much. And what will happen is you'll actually pass through them quicker because instead of getting lost in it and starting to go off and doing all these things and and all the things that people do when, when we get caught up in these, in these internal storms, by staying the course and putting the tools into practice, you'll, you'll let the storm come and you'll let it pass. And that by far is the healthiest way to do it. And so I wanted to share that today and just kind of talk about that idea because I, you know, I think there's a lot of people in, in the storm right now, at least that's kind of what I've, what I've been seeing from inquiries and, you know, um, posting online and and stuff. And it's like, when you're in the storm, the best thing to do is stay the course, not try to figure out, it's like, stay the course that, you know, you know, and, and put the tools into practice that, you know, have worked in the past that, you know, have gotten you out before and put those tools into practice. And if you've never done this before, right, that's where learning the AAA response and and learning the correct tools is going to be important for you. And then once you learn them, though, you commit and you stay the course. And and you really have to anchor. It's just just like a, you know, a person in a real storm with a compass. Just stay the course, right? Like the compass is telling me to go this way. I don't know up from down, but I'm, I'm, I'm staying the course. And I'm not trusting my gut. I'm like, I'm literally, I'm trusting the course that I'm on. And this is, um, it's very important, very important. And, and I hope that it's helpful. I hope that, you know, if this is something that you needed here today, that this is just that reminder that you need, you know, 
Cause, cause again, all that doubt and uncertainty that comes with periods of uncertainty in our lives. And that comes with all the, um, you know, the anxiety and the, the, all the feelings that we experience, you know, it, it can make things very chaotic. And that's why the, the anchoring into the course is so important. So uh, for those of you that are, you know, looking for deeper support on this over at restoredminds.com, we have several resources for you. We have a little free guide actually down in the notes that you can get started with that will help you start with the AAA response. And um, if you are listening to this episode or, or, you know, been following us for any length of time, really would appreciate your support by liking and subscribing and uh, even leaving a comment or a review on iTunes to just really help the um, the analytics of the show um, to help get this out to as many people as possible. So we'd really appreciate your support your support by doing that. And with that said, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing another episode this week. So we'll see you in just a few days. And until that time, hope you guys have a great week. And I look forward to seeing you on the next show. Take care. Thank you so much for watching that video. And so if you're struggling with OCD and anxiety, I just wanted to let you know that we have a free training for you um, over at Restored Minds where you can start learning how to use our AAA response to really break out of that loop and ultimately take back control of your life. And all you need to do to get access is just click the little link below and you'll be taken to a page where you can register today. Thank you so much.